Now this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38 and verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Ezekiel 38 and 2, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, prophesied against him. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Akadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akim, Scathem, Four Corners of the Globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say shalom. And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh of Israel and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, ba in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh And that's the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashawan Kandash, the Holy Tongue. And once again, I say Shalom, and this is a uh, sit-down lesson of uh, Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1. As you see, the written title of the headland right there says, Prophecies about Gog and Land, uh, Prophecies about Gog and Future in the Vision of Israel. I mean, the Vision of Israel. Salaki, my apology. As I read it again, this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Ezekiel 38 and 2, son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, which is the modern day Russians of Gog in the land of Magog, as we, uh, as it's being prophesied against, you know, a descendants of the Heavenly Father's people, which is the uh, children of Israel, prophesying against Gog in the land of Magog, which you see that in ancient times and now in modern day times. Ezekiel 38 and 2, son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, prophesy against him. Ezekiel 38 and 3, and thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of Israel, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Right, so the heavenly father is against, against, against uh, Meshach and Tubal, which is Gog in the land of Magog, which is the princes of Meshach and Tubal, prophesying against them. And still to this day, it says, uh, verse 4, uh, Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 4, And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thy army, horse and horsemen, all of them clothed for all sorts of armor, even a great buckler and shields, and, and all of them heavenly swords. Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 5, Persia, which is the modern day Iranians, Ethiopia, which is the Kushites, Libya, the Ishmaelites, because the Arabs, they are mixed multitudes, so they are the modern-day Ishmaelites. With them, all of them with shield and helmet, fully equipped with armor and shield and helmet, just like in ancient times, now modern-day times. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 6, Gomer, which is the modern-day Turks. That's why you're seeing uh, over there in Iraq, through, throughout Iraq and Syria, uh, escalations are increasing between the... Uh, Turkey army and the uh, Kurdistan armies. Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 6, Gomer, which is the modern day Turks of their armies, and all his bands in the house of Togomor, the north quarters, and all his bands and many people with thee. Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse 7, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself and all thy companies that are assembled unto thee, be thou a garden unto them. Right, so Gog and the land of Magog, which is the modern day Russians, they're going to be a garden to these nations, and that's what we're seeing continuously, increasingly, uh, as we see the uh, Russia Ukraine situation heating up. I believe it was an uh, airstrike over there that took place in the village of uh, eastern Ukraine, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was like 50 people were killed in that airstrike, and I think they say it was like the, war, the worst, deadliest airstrikes in a long time for the past two years, so. That shows you that that Russia-Ukraine situation heating up and the uh, future prophecy of Gog and the land of Magog, you know, so especially over there in the Middle East, you know, Russia is going to be a garden to those nations over there, especially uh, Turkey, Iran, Ethiopia, Libya as well, too. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news or I mean, of this recent uh recent uh, scripture of uh, the scripture of Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 1 through verse 7 my apology sl uh, slip of the tongue I meant to say was uh, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying of the book of Ezekiel chapter 38 verse 1 through verse 7 which is this is a upcoming future prophecy 
prophecy about Gog and the future and invasion of Israel. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to take Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makarkadash. Uh, shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akim, scattering four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say shalom.